Okay, today we are making butternut squash. Nope, today we are making scallops over butternut squash with bacon. It's great because it's only a few simple ingredients that makes a very elegant dish. And the first thing we have to do is cook this. Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this into two separate things. One's gonna be cute butternut squash, um, and then we're gonna make a puree out of it. So we need to start with the bacon first and just start baking that. We need to bake the bacon, man. Did you ever hear that? What is a, what is it, what is it? What is a Boston person, beer can? Saying beer can or bacon? Beer can, beer can, beer can, or beer can. <laughs> it's too small. All right, so we'll chop this up. This is without a doubt the smallest butternut squash that I've ever received from the store, but size doesn't matter. Or does it? Oh, I gotta peel it first. Son of a Oopsie. Slippery sucker. Okay. Well, before I start chopping this, I gotta put the bacon in the... Actually, I'll chop this first with some gloves on. Okie dokie. These are slippery suckers. It's actually soft for a butternut squash, surprisingly. So we'll use these for the cubes, and then we'll use the body or like the rump for the uh, sauce. Chop these bad boys up. They don't need to be precise because I don't care. <laughs> it's a rough chop. Kind of like a sweet potato, pumpkin, potato mix of all the things in between. I... Oh, I didn't even go over the fucking ingredients. God damn it. Ugh. All right, so let's back up. <laughs> so, so we, okay, so we're making scallops with butternut squash. Need scallops, obviously. Butternut squash, obviously. Bacon to saute with the butternut squash. And then cream, butter, salt and pepper. That's it. It's a very simple dish, elegant dish. So sorry, I forgot to tell you the ingredients beforehand, but such is life. All right, so we're just gonna core these, what we got from the body, just so that the, Interior pulp is not still in there. And then we'll just rough chop these so that they break down a little bit quicker because we're just gonna throw them into a pan with some butter and let them soften. A couple knobs of butter in there. Actually, just throw this whole thing in there. Start to lay the bacon out. So we'll just do this and bake it. I should probably put some aluminum foil down though, just so that it's not like a to clean it up into the oven this goes. We'll saute these and break them down and be good to go. This is gonna make a beautiful, beautiful butternut squash cream. How's the bacon doing? Yep, it's a cooking. Smells smoky, like smoked bacon. Not like smoky smoky, but like smoked, you know. You know. All right, for the scallops, we want to, we want to place them on a dry paper towel so that the moisture soaks up and that they get a nice crust on the outside when we cook them. See, get these bad boys on here. I'm gonna improvise and cook some onions first and garlic before I saute the butternut squash. I have this knife, which kind of sucks, but it'll do for now. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. The, the beer can is beer can. I guess while we're waiting, we can make the sauce. This reminds me of Wrigley Field. When they're sweating all the onions down for the hot dogs. For the $49 hot dogs. I'm just kidding, they're only $45. Put some cream and butter in there. Look how creamy and rich that is. Oh my God, that is so good. Give me a little bit more, just a little bit. Okay, some garlic. We'll season these as they cook. I'm gonna do a little smoked paprika to give it some flair. I think we're in a good spot. Okay, we'll put these in clockwise. Hot, hot, hot. Ooh, hot, son of a bitch. Scallops are ready, killed the heat. Okay, looking good. What? There's a duck and a ducky. Oh, look at these beauties. Look at these beauties. Oh my God, f yeah. 
There we go. One of the staple favorites. Easy, simple, tedious, but delicious. Scallops over butternut squash.